All right, first thing you're going to do is peel your potatoes. Now, you can lay newspaper down and do this on newspaper and throw the whole thing in the compost if you compost. If you use the trash, just use a trash bag and peel it in there. Then, when you're all done, you can just gather it up and throw it in the trash. Please subscribe and hit the bell notification so you can be notified when we put up new videos. Hello, I am Tara, the author of the Dining on a Dime cookbook, where you can eat better, spend less. We have a new hardcover with full color pictures and over 1,200 recipes and tips to help you save money on your grocery bill. Check it out at livingonadime.com. Okay, now I rinse the potatoes off when they're big like this because then I don't risk dropping any down the drain. So I'm going to get them rinsed off and then we're going to cut them up. Now this is my mom's trick. When you're making mashed potatoes, don't cut them into little pieces like this. This is the traditional way. Don't do that. Just cut them into quarters because you have the same amount around around the potato. Now maybe this one I would do one more, but if you just quarter them, then you don't have to do so much cutting. So thanks mom for that handy dandy tip there. All right, and now we're going to put these on the stove to boil. Now, what you can do is take and cut up your potatoes two to three hours ahead of time and just let them sit in the water. And my grandma did this all the time for Sunday dinner. Then just turn on the potatoes when you get home to start cooking and you're getting your dinner together and they're piping hot when they're done. All right, you let your, boil, you let your potatoes boil about 15 minutes, but if you're at high altitude, you may need to boil them a little bit longer. Just boil them until a knife just goes straight in real easy, and then you know your potatoes are done. All right, now mashed potatoes are super easy, but I have a secret ingredient that makes my mashed potatoes perfect. Drain your mashed potatoes, add a little bit of milk, a good amount of salt and a nice plop of butter. Then here's the secret ingredient. Add about a tablespoon of sugar. Don't leave the sugar out. It does not make your mashed potatoes sweet. Then you're going to mix until well blended. Now, if they're not quite creamy enough, add just a titch of milk and mix some more. Now, everybody freaks out when I say put the sugar in there, but guys, I guarantee you this secret ingredients will give you the best mashed potatoes you have ever eaten. neck and your giblets, giblets, how do you say it, giblets, and put them in the water. Then add a generous amount of salt and you're just going to put this on low and just let it simmer for several hours until you get a nice broth. But you're going to take the juice from your turkey and you're going to add it to that wonderful broth that you made with the turkey neck and the giblets. Then I add about four of these bouillon cubes in here just to give it a little extra flavor. We're going to bring it to a boil. You've got your broth from your neck and your giblets. Then I added some broth from my turkey. Now I have some water and I'm putting in some cornstarch. And I'm going to stir it around, get it nice and dissolved. I'm going to add just a bit more. I do about two tablespoons of cornstarch. Now the trick is to use cold water and let your cornstarch get dissolved first before you put it in your boiling broth, okay? As it comes to a boil, you're going to add your cornstarch water. Make sure it's all mixed and you're going to bring it to a boil again. 
All right, as it comes to boil, it's going to start to thicken. Turn your heat down so it doesn't boil over. Then, if it doesn't thicken enough, just add a little bit more cornstarch water. And salt to add enough seasoning to make sure it's salted well enough. Okay, now if you want giblet gravy, just cut up your liver and gizzards and add an egg, a hard boiled egg, your liver and gizzards to your gravy. And here you have Thanksgiving dinner already. All the yummy goodness. Right there. Ran out of bowls, so I had to use my big bowl. And there's the apple pie that my family dove into before I could stop them. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving, everybody.